just um, made the Olympic team in the 1500 first of all, Connor, you counted correctly, so there's a victory for you. Yeah, yeah, I paid uh, special attention to my laps this time. What do you think was, uh, what was going through your mind, you know, with you and Andrew, something short for stroke on the race? Yeah, um, I saw in the beginning of the race, Chad was out very fast and someone else on the other side of the pool. And um, I knew I had to stick to my race strategy. And if they were gonna go out that fast, then I just had to let them do it. And uh, luckily, Andrew and I were able to catch up to him and eventually pass him. We've been kind of right there in the mix of distance freestyle for a while. What does it mean to you that, you know, pretty much this is like your first major national title and it also puts you on the Olympic team? I think uh, just really good timing for me. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm happy I was able to do this swim at this meet. Now you've had some good training partners in Michigan, oh, yeah, no John doubt. Ryan, Ryan Feely. Yeah. You know, how did that kind of help you to this moment? Uh, I could credit, uh, I like really need to give them special thanks and credit them to everything for, I think, believing in me, maybe sometimes more than I believe in myself throughout this year and really pushing me in practice every day. And we have a great training uh, environment at Michigan. And um, it's definitely what helped me get to where I am today. Obviously, the bar is pretty high winning that gold medal in London with Sun Yang, the oh, yeah. record holder. What do you think you need to do between now and London to at least get, get closer to it? All I can do is just train my hardest between now and then and follow the plan that the coaches have set up. And uh, that's, all, that's all I can worry about is I need to focus on myself and not worry about what those other guys are doing. Well, we're looking forward to that. Thanks. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot. All right.